As part of my role as your Denver tour guide, it is important to me to take you through and explain the most important parts of our city. I talk about restaurants, I talk about things to do, I talk about all the general stuff around Denver, but there are a few very unique things to our city that quite frankly need more explanation. I keep getting comments and questions about Casa Bonita, a big deal reopening right now. We gotta go over that at some point, but the other question I get just as often, what's the deal with the airport? D IA or Denver International Airport is perhaps the most interesting airport in the world. It is the subject of numerous conspiracy theories. Uh, there are all kinds of crazy ideas out there. And then there are a lot of things about the airport that are actually somewhat true and very hard to sort out. So if you're new to town or just want more information about what the heck is going on on that big plot of land out on the plains, this is it. I'm going to go through the conspiracy theories, the main conspiracy theories for the Denver International Airport with you today. And I'm going to go from, in my opinion, sort of the least plausible to the one that has kind of the most legs. And I'm going to finish with a full rundown on Blucifer. If you know, you know, it's the horse with the red eyes. I'm going to tell you all about it. As you know, if you've been around here before, Sam Newman, Denver Realtor, and I aim to be your total guide to the city. What is the deal with the airport and why is it the subject of so many conspiracies? theories. Well, uh, it's a few things. Number one, it just looks weird. Uh, it's got this weird tent-like building. The architecture is just kind of odd. The way that it's decorated is not typical, I would say. It's a lot of art and artifacts from some ancient or traditional cultures to the area. So basically, that just means that it's decorated in a way that's different from most airports. It also was a whole ordeal when it was built. It's got a whole history. So it was built in the early to mid-90s. It took almost two years longer than they expected. It went more than two Two billion dollars over budget, which in the 90s was even more than two billion dollars is today. And a lot of people weren't sure why it was built. So we had a perfectly functioning airport in town, much closer to town, really where now the Central Park area is, formerly known as Stapleton. That's where the old Denver airport was. And a lot of people say that was totally fine. You know, why'd you have to go all the way out and build this big monstrosity out on the plains way farther from town? Well, maybe it's so they could build a bunker underground for the Illuminati, or maybe it's just because uh, we here in America have a constant race to be the biggest and the best. And when this airport was built, it certainly was that. And even now, uh, many figures put it as the third busiest airport in the world, which is a huge deal. So a lot of people coming to and from Denver, they needed more space. So they built a new airport. At least that's the official story. You can believe whatever you want. But what are all these conspiracy theories? Okay, first of all, the number one conspiracy theory around the airport is that it is a meeting place and was built as a meeting place for some combination of the New World Order and the Illuminati. Don't laugh or do laugh, I don't care. But it sounds super strange. There is so much going on with the airport that's actually kind of weird and actually leads you to think, wait, is something there going on? Let me explain. The big thing people point to is this capstone, this big stone with the dedication to the airport on it. March 19th, 1994. It's the dedication to the airport, but it's got a lot of weird language. Let's go through it real quick. First of all, it says the time capsule beneath this stone contains messages and memorabilia to the people of Colorado in 2094. In a long time in the future. What in the hell does that mean? I don't know. It's very strange. Is this something they do when they build airports? Is it a ceremonial thing? I have done some searching. Uh, I don't know. Nobody really knows, which is one of the reasons this thing started. It goes on. It talks about the most worshipful Grand Lodge, Prince Hall Grand Lodge. It's all this weird secret society like language. And the Illuminati and the New World Order, I don't understand what they are completely, but they are conspiracies that they are like these secret societies that actually actually run the world and they are composed of very powerful people and they decide what happens in the future and they're pulling the strings in the background. And so the really weird thing about this capstone, the one thing that people point to most is at the bottom it says the New World Airport Commission. Sounds a lot like New World Order, but a lot of things sound like other things. What does that actually mean? What is the New World Airport Commission? Well, nobody knows because it doesn't exist. That's the really weird part. You can do a search, it does not exist. The Denver Library has some pages about it, but if you keep clicking through and drilling down to try to find the documents for what this New World Airport Commission is, you don't really come up with anything. The story is that in 1994, when this thing was built, it did exist. It was a, a commission of local business owners and, and government officials.
officials and people who came together to make this airport happen. Probably the truth, but it's very weird that it sounds like New World Order and that it doesn't exist and there's really no record of it online whatsoever. The other thing right above that on this capstone, this weird symbol thing we see, that is the symbol for the Freemasons. And the Freemasons are not a conspiracy. It is known to be one of the world's largest secret societies. What do they do? Nobody knows for sure. It could be just some old guys getting together and drinking, or it could be some weird Illuminati stuff. That's what some people think. The fact that this logo is on there too, meaning the Freemasons are somehow involved. Yeah, it keeps getting weirder. So that's where it starts with the Illuminati thing. Okay, the idea being this uh, airport was built by the Illuminati and there's a secret bunker somewhere underneath the airport that the Illuminati will go to. Uh, they go there to meet perhaps and they'll go there when the apocalypse happens and they will be safe or something. Maybe the apocalypse they just know is going to happen or maybe they're actually starting it and that is the next thing we're going to look into. So still on this Illuminati New World Order thing, uh, the Denver airport did not help itself by the way it uh, decorated itself. The art is very, very weird and there's a couple pieces that were done by a local artist uh, that tie in with this theory. So these are the ones and I think they're actually very beautiful but you cannot deny that they are also very weird. This painting in particular, it looks like the apocalypse is happening and, and that's where it gets tied into the conspiracy theory. There's this fire in the background, the apocalypse is happening, these people are crying, there's children in caskets. It is bizarre. The idea being this is uh, a foreshadowing from the Illuminati of what will happen in the future. And then there's this other really long one which looks very similar but shows another image past the apocalypse when everyone sort of comes together and there's this harmonious glowing thing. There's like an orb in the middle and the idea is then where the new world order will take over and this is the world they want to create. I don't know. It seems like a stretch. It's kind of wild. It's probably just some really weird art, which artists are weird. So that wouldn't be the first time that that happened. I don't know. I do not believe the Illuminati theory, but I also don't really know what's going on. Okay, so that's the first one. The second conspiracy theory is that DIA is built on a Native American burial ground and thus is haunted. It's a classic story out of one of the most run-of-the-mill horror movies you've ever seen, but there's actually some smoke behind it. So the truth is, and this is verified, there's an article about this online. When they were building the airport, they did uh, accidentally dig up some old, thousands of year old artifacts from ancient civilization. Some pots, arrowheads, ancient tools. They haven't said if these are tied specifically to a Native American tribe, but understand this is where this comes from. What they decided to do when they realized, oh crap, we're digging up stuff we didn't expect to dig up and we're actually going to build on this site of some sort of ancient culture. Well, they said, okay, uh, we will honor that culture. So they took those things and displayed many of them in the airport. DIA officials say there was no evidence of any sort of burial ground in this, but it's understandable that it gets people thinking. Furthermore, on the bridge, the, the walking bridge from security to terminal A, if you've ever done that, you know that, that it is decorated with Native American imagery, Native American art, and always playing the music of one of those tribes from the area. The official explanation is the same thing. Well, this was a tribe from the area. Uh, we wanted to honor them, but the thought is they're doing that to keep the evil spirits away, which is okay. We're getting a little bit out there at this point, but built on the side of an ancient culture, uh, putting up uh, those artifacts and also native imagery from tribes from the area. You see where this is all connected. There's actually something to this here. And it is a fact that when the airport was built, when ground was broken, there was a dedication ceremony with local elders from the Cheyenne tribe. We have photo evidence of it and it's well documented. Was that just something that the airport officials were doing in order to create community and goodwill? Or was that something they were doing to potentially keep any retribution at bay? I don't know. Let's be honest. It's weird. Number three, this one's the most out there, but also uh, not completely untrue, literally, that the runways of DIA are designed in the shape of a swastika. Yes, the Nazi symbol. I don't know how Nazis uh, tie into all this. I don't know where they come into play. I'm not sure. But if you look at an aerial image, uh, you can see it. Maybe it's only if you're looking for a swastika. Maybe otherwise it's just, just a normal kind of weird pinwheel-like layout. But um, it's definitely similar. The official story from DIA is this is the most um, usable layout of these runways. When we do it like this, when we design it like this, that means uh, multiple jets can take off or land at the same time. It's highly usable and efficient. But there's a lot of other busy airports in the world. And if you look into it, none of them has runway layout the same as DIA. They're all like, oh, we'll go at an angle or we'll do this. None of them have anything that is in the shape of a pinwheel or potentially an old 
Nazi symbol. So I don't know. Uh, let's be honest. It's probably just coincidence. And I bet at some point there were conversations about this, like, uh, you know, at first denial, like nobody realized it was happening when they were building it. I'm guessing, you know, they built it and then someone pointed it out and people would be like, no, what, what do you mean? We built this spec. That's not the case. And then they started looking at it more and they're like, you know, it does kind of. Who approved? How did it? No, it's not a, it, it kind of is. Maybe a little embarrassing, but also maybe nothing. Uh, maybe we're just reading too far into it here. And by the way, before we get to the last one, um, DIA, I love because they totally lean into all this stuff. Uh, they've done April Fool's jokes where they put a page confirming the Illuminati meets there. Uh, they have a whole actually page on their website now just about all these conspiracy theories and they talk about it kind of tongue in cheek. For what it's worth, I think it's awesome the way they kind of play around with it and it's fun. Okay, so the last one, I don't know if this is a conspiracy, but this is the most real weirdest thing that is true about Denver International Airport, Blucifer. If you know who Blucifer is, if you've ever been to town, you have seen our friend Blucifer, which he is lovingly referred to in town here. He is the blue horse with glowing red eyes just outside the airport. Most people, when they come to town, say something to the effect of, what the hell is that? Why does it have glowing red eyes and look like a demon? Well, the story goes this way, and most of it's corroborated. The statue was built by a local artist, Luis Jimenez, and it's very, very big and very, very heavy. And so, true story, when he was working on the structure, it fell over, severed an artery in his leg, and killed him. The evil demon horse killed its maker. Huge PR nightmare. Very sad tragedy. Still got to finish the horse. What are we going to do? Well, they decided to get the artist's son to finish it. Great. You can finish it in, in memoriam for your father. He agreed. And part of that agreement, the story goes, was he could finish it however he saw fit. And so part of finishing it was installing the eyes on the horse. As far as we know, the red eyes were not part of the original design, but the artist's son said, no, I have carte blanche. This is what my father would have wanted. Uh, the horse gets glowing red eyes. And being that his father had just died at the hooves of said horse, nobody stopped him. So now we have a demon horse. Did the son do it as sort of a nod to the fact that horse killed his dad? Was it his way of putting a curse on the airport? Probably not. But in my opinion, kind of strange and probably the strangest thing about the strangest airport in the world. What do you think? You into any of this? You buying it? You not buying it? Do you believe there are tunnels underneath the airport that the Illuminati meet in and will one day go there to avoid the apocalypse? Let me know. Otherwise, love you. Thank you.